Ukraine's ambitions to join the EU were expected to take a big step forward this week during a visit by President Viktor Yanukovych to Brussels. But relations between the two sides have been so severely strained by the jailing of opposition leader Yulia Tymoshenko that the trip has been postponed. Europe suspects the seven-year sentence for abuse of powers was politically motivated. In an exclusive interview, our correspondent in Kiev raised this and other contentious issues with President Yanukovych. According to the criticism coming from uh, other countries at, uh, inst at institutional level, not only the public opinion of, of other countries, uh, the judiciary system here in this country is not that independent. And uh, they are saying that you, as a president, uh, have uh, the power to influence uh, this kind of decisions. What do you think about it? The reforms of the judicial system should not be an area of disappointment for the EU's leaders. More than a year and a half ago, we started to address these issues and started thinking about systemic decisions. We are doing this as part of the process of EU integration. What we are doing is for our own sake. We realize that our legal standards need to change. If there is this reform, maybe Mrs. Timoshenko will be released. The Timoshenko issue is rather controversial because it contains numerous abuses of the law. This is both a political and a criminal issue. And the second part is just a criminal issue, not political. It's a violation of criminal law. We are talking about tax evasion. We are talking about losses to the national budget. And we are talking about gas that did not go through proper customs procedures and then reached the Ukrainian people. We're talking about the losses sustained by the country. So you're saying that the European Union is wrong when criticizes Ukraine uh, in this uh, case, because the impression is anyway that uh, uh, there are other reasons, uh, like, for example, uh, uh, the case of uh, the fact that uh, Tiboshenko uh, closed a company that was very close to the interest of, of your own party. In the case of Timoshenko, it's impossible to jump to any conclusions. Conclusions can only be drawn by the courts. Here we have to take into account the court cases that took place abroad. There was the case of the former Ukrainian Prime Minister, Pavlo Lazarenko, found guilty in the US of extortion, money laundering and fraud, and in Russia, the case of General Georgi Olyenik, found guilty of abuse of office. The European Union officials seem to ignore all these kind of uh, allegations, even you're talking about, even because apparently the allegation of uh, the object of, uh, of a trial was uh, actually the signature. So what is considered to be a political approach, not a criminal one uh, by most of the international observer. What is going on? I have never used my position to put pressure on lawmakers or courts in Ukraine. I wanted Timoshenko to prove her innocence. If she made a mistake and then the entire country suffered as a consequence, then she should admit it. If she didn't pay taxes, she should admit it and pay them. That's just natural. You pay your taxes. By all means, we want Ukraine to mature, to integrate and to adopt 
new, modern European standards and rules. These accusations are coming from uh, the international community, actually. Ukraine has to start changing for the better. But putting pressure on us to do it faster and in an artificial way is wrong. It's the process, and this process is still continuing and is leading to progress, and it's bringing positive changes already.